I thought of using a bat or a mallet, but instead I tightened this clamp to the side of my work table and smashed the pieces on top of it. I took the broken pieces and rearranged them in the same order as they were before I broke the slab to give it that explosion effect, and I put them on top of a piece of cardboard so I could trace this awkward shape and cut it out and begin making the mold. Now this is the strangest and most difficult mold I've ever built because it isn't square or rectangular like most molds typically are. It's live edge all the way around, so I wasn't sure how this would work out, but I put that cardboard stencil on top of the white MDF board, traced the same shape all the way around, and cut along that line with my jigsaw. I just used some extra MDF that I had on hand and I ended up using two different pieces to make that full shape. And I was actually pretty pleased with how close I was able to get it to the actual shape of the wood. I came back with my torch and burned all these pieces individually on the top, bottom, and sides.